So basically, uh, as well as, as being here to, because I've been honored, uh, I want to celebrate the value of education and the value of teachers. And I learned that in a kind of a hard way when I was growing up as a kid in, in Los Angeles. The school system, I didn't know it then, but the school system was pretty poor because we had substitute teachers. It was the end of the Second World War, and so I didn't know that the teachers were uh, substitute teachers. So it left me uninspired. It left me more interested in what was out the window and sketching underneath the table, things like that, because I didn't realize that the real teachers weren't coming back yet. So I was not a good student, and, but I learned a valuable lesson about what a really good teacher can do. And, and it only takes maybe two or three in your, in your academic lifetime to make a difference. And I had one in the third grade. I'll share that story with you. I was uh, not paying attention. I was doing something that I felt was more interesting to me. I loved to draw, and I loved to draw stories for myself and entertain myself. It was kind of like having a companion. So I was caught by the teacher in the third grade um, underneath the table. She said, what, uh, what's so important there? What, what's, what's more important than our lesson here today to you? Do you want to come up and show the class what's more important than what we're trying to talk about here? And I thought, oh, God, I'm toast. You know. um, she's going to burn me, and it's going to work, and the kids are going to laugh, and I'm going to feel like hell, and I will shrink. Instead, when I came up and I, I held up the, the drawing, she said, do you want to talk about it? And I said, well, yeah, the, what this is is some cowboys chasing some Indians over a cliff. Cowboys are shooting bullets at the Indians. The Indians are shooting arrows back at the cowboys. And B-51 bombers are bombing the cowboys. <laughs> so what happened was the class responded to it. They liked it. And the teachers saw that. And at that moment, rather than burning me, she said, I tell you what, she said, what we're going to do is we're going to put an easel up here every Wednesday and give you 15 minutes and some newspaper print paper and let you come up and draw a story for us every Wednesday. But then you have to promise to pay attention to the rest of the time. Well, had she not made that move, uh, my life could have taken, could have gone in a different direction. So that's just an example of how a teacher can maybe affect your life. And, and it, it certainly changed mine and certainly for the better.